that. Hello, hello everybody, I am Neon Icy Wings, and this is more Undertale. Although, this time I think I want to do it in the full. Ah, that's interesting. But all right, let us continue. Yep, I remember this. Also love the music. Maha. But let us continue on and explore the area of Waterfall. See what it has to say. Ah. I'm not sure if those are like rocks or ice. That was, Oh, that's, I think this is just one of those item boxes. This is a box. You can put an item in or take an item out. Why would you, though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. <laughs> sure. Do I want to put anything in? Just have some heels. I guess I'll throw the spider donut in. Oh. Alright, so this is where we get knocked down by the rocks. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. So... Huh? There's a camera behind the waterfall. How disturbing. Ah! Eh? There's a tutu lying on the ground here. Will you take it? I shall take the tutu. You got old tutu. Alright. Then let's see about old tutu. Old Tutu, armor defense 10. Finally, a protective piece of armor. Do I not have uh, armor currently? You equipped the old Tutu. And what is the manly bandana? Armor defense 10. Yep, the Tutu is better. Maha, we can throw this into the box hater box. I shall use the box. Be gone, manly banana. Banana? Bandana. Still doesn't know why there's two things behind the waterfall, a room, and then hell. Ah, I think we found hell here. Into the reeds! Let's see if I can remember my papyrus voice, it's been a little while. Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called about earlier? Huh? Did I fight them? Yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well, no. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you don't have to destroy them. You see... You see... I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Fear! Undyne looks so creepy with the helmet on. The small, just lovely, just lovely art and artistry. And shadows. Oh, so disturbing shadows. Now this makes me want to get to Deltarune all the more. Oh, how? Oh, hello there. How'd you get here? Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome! I'm so jealous! What'd you do to get her attention? <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. <laughs> I almost missed. She fell onto his face. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. Save! And just because I'm uber paranoid, I'm going to check my audio again. Mohaha. <laughs> nope, audio is good. Luckily, it was very quick. Let's read the runes! When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. Oh boy, puzzle time! 
man, playing Undertale is kind of inspirational. Makes me like, man, I need to get good at art, learn some programming, make a game myself. Because just, it's so good. The atmospheres, the feeling. Uh oh, combat! Uh oh. Aaron flexes in. I shall flex back! Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you two. Flexing contest. Okay. Flex more. I think I was moving down, and I didn't mean to. Hmm. Aaron is ready for your next flex. You flex harder! Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Nice. I won't lose, though. Dang it. Aaron is ready for your next flex. I will flex you away! Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. You won. You earned 30 gold. Take that. All I have is Toriel to call. I'm alone in this world. If an error is made, the Bell Blossom can, uh, call bridge seeds back to where they started. I want to see what is that sign say. And then I think I'll go back to Papyrus, because I feel like I missed something there. And I don't want to miss things. Missing things is bad. Congratulations! You failed the puzzle. <laughs> How dare you. But now we shall fail the puzzle once again. Because I swear there's something over here. And I will have my vengeance. I want to know all the things, because this game is a secrets, and I will be the one who knows the secrets. Not all of them, of course, because a few of the secrets that I've heard about are just like, I don't know how I'd ever get that. I just wasn't ready for the responsibility. There's a lone quiche sitting underneath this bench. I shall take the quiche. You got the abandoned quiche. All right. Abandoned quiche. Heals 34 HP, a psychologically damaged spinach egg pie. All right, let's see. I think the proper way is just like that, perhaps. But man, I just love Waterfall's music so far. It's very good, very nice, atmospheric. Oh yeah, I was going to go and talk to Papyrus. Because I feel like I missed something. Last time I was just like, ah, I want to go forward. But now that I took a break, because that is what I forever do, take breaks. Constantly telling myself, I need to do this more, and then I don't do that more. Although I have been drawing more. Ish, ish. Okay, I just glitched through the frickin' rock. How fun. I must head back. My friend Papyrus is calling to me. After potentially betraying me. Although he can't actually call me, because I don't think he has my cell phone number. He's metaphorically calling to me. Da -da 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 -da. Please don't enter the mysterious shack. <laughs> okay, Papyrus. So you came back to have a date with me. You must really be serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. just starts walking backwards. My house! This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. 
The rock is covered in sprinkles. Oh, it's my favorite game show! It says, stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. You touch the couch. It makes a jingling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20 gold. It's a soggy old couch. Saggy old couch. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Yes. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it any time. How dare you insult me for what I am. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd. Well, for a moment there, I was going to say, Did Sans abandon the quiche? But then apparently, no, he made a different thing. Uh, a pie. Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please peruse my culinary art show. Half the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. Hello, dog. What? Catch that meddling canine! Curses! <laughs> Sans! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music! Welcome to Scenic My House. Enjoy and take your time! A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Bones? The door is locked. With something coming out. It might be drugs. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock! Okay. Don't put it back down! Move it! Okay. You moved it two inches! Move it to your room! Okay. And don't bring it back! Okay. It's still here! Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it! Sans is a monster. That's my room. If you finished looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Go inside. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. It was quite a few days ago for me. The internet! I'm quite popular there! The hilarious thing is, this line was in here when Undertale first came out. Quite prophetic. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follow account! You have negative two followers? Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. His brother is hurting him. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced puzzle construction for critical minds. That next book's also another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. <laughs> That's a hilarious potential book. Is it that flag in Nito? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now I know that you're thinking, why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> ah, yes, action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa! <laughs> Santa exists down here. Oh, yeah, I think Asgore does it. If my vague memories work. That's my bet. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair. Sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. There are no skeletons inside my closet. Except me sometimes. Look inside the closet? Yes. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. 
So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin the date! Okay, dating start! Dating combat time. Dating start! Here we are, on our date! I've actually never done this before, but don't worry! You can't spill prepared without several letters from my name! I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library! We're ready to have a great time! Let's see. Step one, press the C key on your keyboard for dating HUD. <laughs> Reel it in! Population, egg, crime! Wowee! I feel so informed! I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. <clears throat> Human, I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you! Yes. Really? Wowie! I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That tutu around your waist. Hey, it actually, it actually called that? Wow. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that. Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No. Could it be? You wanted to date me from the very beginning. Yes. No! You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am! No! Your dating power! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet! I, the great Papyrus, have never been beaten in a dating, and I never will! I can easily keep up with you. You'll see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes! Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date! Behold! Cool dude! Yeah! What do you think of my secret style? I love it! No! A genuine compliment! Also, the music that's playing is actually really good. And now it's gone. Sadness. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further, unless you see my secret. But that won't happen. Move and expect to see. I see, I see. You like caressing my biceps floating heart. But who doesn't? Your shoes. Human souls are stronger than monster souls. But the souls of our shoes, on the other hand, are not the same. My hat. My hat. My hat! Yeah! <laughs> well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. I present just for you. Open it. It's spaghetti! Do you know what this is? Of course. Spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right! But oh so wrong! This ain't any plain old pasta! This is an artisan's work! Silk and spaghetti finely aged in an oaken cask! Been cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus! Human, it's time to win this! There's no way this can go any further! I eat it. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do! Ah! Oh! No! Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, they want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you, I, Papyrus, I, um, boy, is it hard in here or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I'd be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I've only drawn you deeper. 
into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No! Wait, that's wrong! I can't fail at anything! Human, I'll help you through these trying times! I'll keep being your cool friend! And act like all this never happened. After all, you are very great! It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me any time. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> that was fantastic. Let's read now that he's not here. The computer's internet browser is open to a social media site. I want to read! The bookshelf is filled with complex tomes about puzzle creation and children's books. Action figures of many sexy robots! <laughs> it's a race car bed, neatly made. It's a box of bones. Look inside the closet. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Now that was amusing. Hello, how are you, my friend? I'm really very not suspicious today. <laughs> it's because he had a meeting with uh, Undyne, I think. Perhaps. Maybe. Ooh, I forgot. I have his phone number now. I'm going to call him right next to him because that is what sane people do. Papyrus. Ring, ring. Snowden, home of Papyrus. That's the slogan, right? <laughs> Well, that was funny. And it's just a thing you can do to get to know Papyrus better, which is fantastic. Because who wouldn't want to get to know Papyrus better? A madman would have to say no. Now we have to call him at every possibility. My brother has a station here. Yes, he means two stations at once. Amazing, isn't it? It, he slacks off twice as much as normal! I must call him at every possibility. See what he thinks. Rocks? It must be one of Undyne's ingenious puzzles. You'd better be careful. Let's see what he thinks of this room. There's no response. It's an evil room, that's what that is. I shall call from safety. Wowie! I had an awkward time in this room earlier. Good heavens, you weren't around to see it. But I was. Me and my shadow. What? Well, there is magical fun. It was just like there. It's just a thing to do, which is lovely. Ah, the secret path is gone. Which means it'll be a pain if I want to get his papyrus opinion. This puzzle... I've got it! Try to build a bridge at the Breach Sids! <laughs> breach Sids. Bridge of Sands. I picked up the thing! Ring. Hello, this is Papyrus! How did I get this number? It was easy! I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours! He doesn't know caller ID. <laughs> <laughs> so... Which, that's kind of funny, because that kind of means, maybe... I wonder if you have to go date Papyrus to get his phone number, or if you just get it here. I don't know. I just missed this interaction, because it's just like, I want to go back to Papyrus! <laughs> So, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a dusty tutu. Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? I am wearing a dusty tutu. So you are wearing a dusty tutu. Got it. Wink, wink. Have a nice day. Papyrus is a gym. Wait. Damn it. I was thinking maybe there would be another thing behind that. 
But instead, it's just like, haha, another way to do it. But that makes me want to do it all the more. What if there's things lying there? Secrets that call to me that aren't secrets. You will not deny me my insanity. For I will seek out false truths. Fuck. And that is why you need to control your passion, like a Jedi. Or else you'll just fuck up the simple line up the daisies puzzle. Aw, oh, but I wanted there to be a secret behind the waterfall. Every waterfall! Wishing room. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now all we have are these sparkling stones in the ceiling. That is actually very depressing. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Uh-oh. Washua shuffles up. Clean. You ask Washua to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Green means clean. Help! Help! I have been assaulted by heaven! I am a failure. I cannot dodge for my life. Come on, sis. Make a wish. I wish my sister and I will see the real stars someday. Hopefully that's not creep... Be or, uh, darkness foreshadowing. Ah, seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. Ah, get it? Look through the telescope. Yes. <laughs> check wall. How dare you make me check wall. Okay. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The war of humans and monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had known had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of a nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness, ironically. It is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. And before the guy went to heal, because yeah, I'm, I'm paranoid and I don't want to go back to a save point. <laughs> if a human... Oh, if a human monster... If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul. A horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. But I want to see the drawing of hell! That's not ominous or anything. Oh boy, more shadows. That means damnation's on its way. Woohoo! Well, hey, look, damnation. Time to flee! Flee, Billy! Flee for your life! For you are being chased by the knight from Scooby Doo. You can't get me, Undying. I am slippery as an eel. <laughs> fuck. Double fuck. Hey. You cannot hit me. I am magical. You are very tall and have a pointy helmet. Disturbing. Thank you, monster kid. You saved my life, even though it looks like she's grabbing you by the eye. <laughs> Just... <laughs> It made it look like she kind of was deadpan there. And now I'm free. <laughs> Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me. I. That sounds wrong out of context. I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky. If you were standing just a little bit to the left. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. Oh, we will. 
and she will try again to kill me. This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Squeak. It did not lie. It indeed squeak. Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal, it fills you with determination. Hey there, Sansa boy! I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 gold to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Sure, I'll use the telescope. I think we're staring into a red sun. Either that or I'm a sucker. Huh? You aren't satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. He's not wrong. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? Okay, I believe him. <laughs> oh, hey, it's you! The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. How dare you. It's a box for storing punch cards. It's empty right now. I relocated my store, but there's still no customers. Fortunately, I thought of a solution. Punch cards! Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Nice cream, it's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Just 25 gold. Super, here you go. Your card's in the box. I shall take a punch card. The box continued. Okay, it's one card. I shall take the card. So that I have it forever and ever. So I can throw the punch card in here. The music is kind of... Okay. Like, low-key... something. You hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? You hear a passing conversation. Hmm, just one, but... It's kind of stupid. The coloring of the place is creepy. Mold small! I spare you both. I got no gold for it, but I don't get a fight. It's a pair of ballet shoes. I will take the ballet shoes. Now I have a tutu and a ballet shoes. I'm a real ballerina! Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very... murdery. But I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. A dusty tutu. Because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This way, you're safe, and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. But now that I know I'm going the right way, I want to go the other way to the right way. Which is technically- Oh no, it's you! I shoo you. To go away. You'll change your mind. Creepy. Shoo. Nope, okay, I have to flex at him. Shit. I flex at you! Oh! Flexing contest. Oh fuck you! This is the bad. Ah. I was not expecting a different attack, but now he's gonna do increased damage. And I think his biceps are getting bigger. I think this means that he goes away after this. I flex you. Flower! Go 
Rosa! He actually freaking startled me. I didn't expect in this realm of teal and black for a freaking bright yellow to punch me in my face with a creepy smile to say, HELLO! Why, Flowey? Ah, uh, the duck's a traitor. Damn it, I thought it would be something cool. Well, then again, it was a duck. That was very cool. But now we continue on. I want more of that Echo Flower conversation. Hello, Washua. I shall clean because it makes you go away. Green means clean. Fuck. Okay, I made off like a bandit at all things considered. I think that flower looks murdered. You're a passing conversation. Don't say that. Come on, I promise I won't laugh. Uh oh. Hmm. I better clean so I can get you away. No need for a swimming suit. Fuck. Help! Oh, it's because I didn't get clean! Fuck! Maybe. There we go. Spare you. No need for a swimming contest. I need to get rid of you, horse man! With big biceps. Don't pop a vassal. Now be gone, Flexman! The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. And honestly, I would say that's actually a pretty, like, normal thing to fear. Are those claws natural? Okay, I've seen enough hentai, I know where this is going. I'm deeply disturbed. Hey there! Noticed you were here. <coughs> I'm Onion San! Okay, what's with the Steven Universe face? Onion San, you here? I'm gonna ignore. You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. What's your big favorite? Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but... Hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium. Like all my friends did. Sounds like they wanted to get away from you. And the aquarium's full anyway, so... Even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, you... Oh, you hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Whatever you say, Onion-san. Hey there, that's the end of this room. I'll see you around to have a good time in Waterfall. What a freak. Let's call Papyrus. <gasps> Onion? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Apparently he doesn't care about Onion either. Uh-oh. Shiren hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. I shall hum. 
You hum a jazz ballad. Chiron follows your melody. Siri, Siri, Si me. I want to see how far we can go. Hum along with me. Suddenly, it's a concert. Si fa, si fa, so fa, so me. Uh oh. Hey. Sansa selling tickets made of toilet paper. You hum some more. The seats are sold out. You feel like a rock star. The crowd tosses clothing. It's a storm of socks. You hum some more for the constant attention, the tours, the groupies. It's all aggressive tooting. Oh, wait, what? Siren thinks about her future. Why do I always sneeze in twos? You and Siren have come so far, but it's time. You both have your own journeys to embark on. You hum a farewell song. Final toot. You won! You <laughs> That was fantastic. I love that. That's amazing. I love just the little things like you can just spare them right there, but it's just like, I want to go further beyond! You can just have cool things happen. The northern room hides a great treasure. I think it lies. Oh no, this! <laughs> a hunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first aid are fine. There's a piano here. Play it. I know that this is a part of a puzzle where you need to, by ear, play another song. <laughs> well, but I love that. Well, let's see if I can copy Paris. Did you see my concert? I've heard a shy monster lives around here. Well, if you want to get someone to open up, you should engage them in combat! <laughs> Papyrus, the unintentional blood knight. I want to be your friend, so I shall attack you! This power has a no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. And an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. Why does this feel like... Uh, why does this feel like... Foreshadowing, Billy? There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death, if only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened, and now it never will. It's a statue. The structures at its feet seem dry. Please take one. You took an umbrella, and I shall do the immediate obvious thing. Have an umbrella, fellow. Inside the statue, a music box begins to play. Oh, it actually has it, has it there. Neutral, up, right... Neutral, down, down, right. All right, let's see if I can remember that. All right, let's see if I can remember that obviousness. Because my memory is shit. Neutral. And for a moment there, I thought I me me messed it up. What is this, the Dragon Ball? It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? I take the artifact of legend! I am Indiana Jones. You're carrying too many dogs. The annoying... 
annoying dog. Annoying dog. Dog. A little white dog. It's fast asleep. How did you get in my inventory? If I leave, will you still be there, dog? It is the magic of the dog. Be gone, dog! You put the dog on the ground. You bastard. My artifact! The artifact is gone. Profound sadness. I wonder if somebody ever played this game, got to this part, and was like, Oh, the music! This is what we need to play! And they missed the obvious uh, thing of just, Oh, it tells you if you stay there long enough. And they immediately went to the piano and brute forced it only to... Have the artifact taken away from them. Head all there, Monster Kid. Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome! Let's go! You are now my childhood friend. Stop getting wet. I have an umbrella. Stay behind me, but not too far behind me. It is the purpose of an umbrella. Man, Undying is so cool. She beats the bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night, knowing she was going to beat me up. <laughs> that pause gives me pause. What is over there? What secret hides? So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his phone flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching a class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. <laughs> you learned nothing at school, haven't you? Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. <laughs> Look, it's Disney World! Over an ocean. This is just such a cool shot, man. Toby Fox is like artistic genius. I shall return the umbrella like a good person. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Hmm. Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Climb on my shoulders. You mean your head? Yo, you gone ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. By bashing your face into the floor a million times. And now he's going to get super wet on the way back because he has no umbrella hands. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. Yeah, that sounds like humans. The serene sound of a distant music box. It fills you with determination. Sure does! In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful, and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken, and countless monsters were turned to dust. Why is there a... Oh. Uh, oh! I think it's below me. I'm going to be attacked again. Shadows declare... da 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 Because definitely teal and round. Ah, it's hell. How are you hiding? You cannot get me. I am God. I am Master Dodge, man. You cannot get me. I am too fast. I am the flash. Okay, how did that not hit me? <laughs> I should have been hit a million times over, Billy. Oh no. <laughs> Indeed. Goodbye, Undyne. I am... I'm sorry, but no. Fuck. Ah! I have been stabbed! Hmm. <laughs> I need to find a way, a way away from you, who's trying to murder me. Be gone, Satan! I am a happy little child, and I will not be bullied by a captain of the guard! I think I'm being bullied by a captain of the guard. Oh. 
fear me! No. No. Oh no. Okay, maybe it's safe, I can go home. Please don't be there to kill me. I think she's here to kill me. Ah, oh, look, my executioner! I am but a child, grinning face mask monster. Please do not kill me. You destroyed public property! It sounds like it came from over here. Oh! You've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Neon, huh? What? That's a nice name. My name is... We didn't even get a first initial... <laughs> okay, welcome to hell. I'm gonna have another bicycle. Yum yum. Alright. Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. Just garbage. Like me, I am home! Ah, oh, damn it, I wasted my bicycle! Occasionally, a piece of trash will flow through and fall into the bottom of space below. Viewing this endless cycle of worthless garbage, it fills you with determination. Ah, let's check behind. Oh, we can't check behind the waterfall! Oh. But we must check the garbage at the very least. Piles of garbage, they're quite a few. Uh. But I wanted to check the garbage! He's a bicycle. You rest your hand on the rusted bike. Its, worn, its horn wheezes a honk of despair. Okay, that was a honk of despair, apparently. Piles of garbage, brands you recognize. A beat-up desktop computer. The inside is empty. It's a cooler. It has no brand and shows no signs of wear. Inside are a couple of freeze-dried space food bars. Take one? Yes! You got the astronaut food. Take space food bar from the... Gimme! You're carrying too much. No. It's a DVD case for an anime. Desperate claw marks cover the edges. Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? Nah, I, I don't. You, <laughs> you stare into each other's eyes for a moment. Is it the anime? Well, this, this is kind of anime if you think about it. Or Toy Story. <laughs> Too intimidated to fight me, huh? I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy! My cousin used to live inside a dummy too until you came along. When you talked to them, they thought they were in for a nice chat. But the things you said, horrible, shocking, unbelievable, it spooked them right out of their dummy. Human. I'll scare your soul out of your body! Oh boy! Mad Dummy blocks the way and looks utterly horrific. Let's chat. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this pitiful, pitiful, pitiful! Music's grand, though. Oh, I need to... S Ow, you dummies! Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks! Hey, you, uh, forget I said anything about magic. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much of a conversation. No one is happy. I'll defeat you and take your soul! All right, well, we'll just spare you. I'll use your soul to cross the barrier. Aha, now that was a combo. I'll stand in the window of a fancy store. Oh wait, it said something? Mad Dummy is getting cotton all over the dialogue box. THEN EVERYTHING I WANT WILL BE MINE! <laughs> Mad Dummy is getting caught. 
Huh? Yeah, I guess that I'll avenge my cousin. Just more cotton? More cotton. What was their name again? Man, you're just beating yourself up. Quit hitting yourself. Whatever, whatever, whatever! You really should give up. Because you're just hitting yourself. Feeble. Feeble. Feeble! Hey, guys! No! Oh. Dummies! 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 Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well, failures! You're fired! You're all being replaced! <laughs> now you'll see my true power relying on people that aren't garbage! Mechanical words fill the room. I'm gonna unicycle. Dummy bots! Magic missile! Hopping mad. Try again! Glares into a mirror. <laughs> Glares into a mirror, then turns to you with the same expression. Dummy bots! You're awful! Ow. Mad Dummy is doing an armless ska dance. Dummy bots! Final attack! Uh oh. That was at least half. <laughs> no way! These guys are even worse than the other guys! Who cares? Who cares? Who cares?! I don't need friends! I've got knives! I'm... out of knives. But it doesn't matter! You can't hurt me, and I can't hurt you! You must stop fighting me! Forever! 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 Oh, forget it! I'm out of here! Napstub look! Sorry, I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no, you guys looked like you were having- He threw a knife at me, Napstub look! He was trying to murder me! Oh no, I just wanted to say hi. Oh no. Well, I'm going to head home now. Oh, um, feel free to come with if you want. But no pressure. I understand if you're busy. It's fine, no worries. Just thought I'd offer. God damn. David Napster book is very much relatable. Hey, my house is up here. In case you want to see. Or in case you don't. You feel a calming tranquility. You're filled with determination. This looks ominous. What? 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 It's a living. Doesn't seem like anyone's home. We shall call Papyrus. What do you have to say? That's Undyne's house. Let's go there and hang out someday. It's locked. Oh, you really came. 
Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. It's not much, but make yourself at home. It's a spider web. There's a flyer for a bake sale on it. Gula Day music. This music is odd. Spook wave. Play the spook wave. The computer's internet browser is open to a music sharing forum. Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try it? You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You phase right through it. Oh, never mind. After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. It's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? I am a part of the Nebstablook family. Let us lie on the ground and feel like garbage. Here we go. You'll lie down as long as you don't move. So, only move around when you want to get up, I guess. This is the national pastime that we all deserve. Ah, drugs! Why are we still here? Just to suffer? Maybe it f reveals like how low Low ball? Low... I'm trying to think. Low brow? I am, but for some reason, if I ever made a game, it's just like, ah! The player can lay on the ground. If you lay down long enough, a boss fight would happen. You fight, I don't know. A galaxy. Well, that was nice. Thank you. Oh, that's my TV. There's a show I like to watch on it sometimes. Uh, I'm gonna keep working on that mix CD. Napster Blook is a national treasure. Snail, snail, a long journey extends in front of you. Snail, snail, reach far in strength beyond the horizons. Snail, snail, so snail of Sam Buell. What? It's a snail. For some reason, you can't help but wonder what it tastes like. Ah, so French. I've been long overdue for a second house. Those snails counting dollar bills. Also, it's playing the typical music. North Block Acres, East Hotland, Timmy Village. Well, we gotta find the Timmy Village. What does it say? North Block Acres. Ah, the Bluke Family Acres. And I have another box. I shall put the dog residue in there. And I guess I shall put on the ballet shoes. You equip ballet shoes. And then I'll put away the... Tough glove. Whoa there! I've got some neat junk for sale. Anything you want to know? I've been around a long time. Maybe too long. Studying history sure is easy when you've lived through so much of it yourself. <laughs> About that emblem. Huh? You don't know what that is. What are they teaching you kids in school nowadays? <laughs> That's the Delta Rune, the emblem of our kingdom, the kingdom of monsters. <laughs> Great name, huh? It's as I always say, oh, King Fluffy Buns can't name for beans. Emblem's meaning. That emblem actually predates written history. 
The original meaning has been lost to time. All we know is that the triangles symbolize us monsters below, and the winged circle above symbolizes something else. Most people say it's the angel from the prophecy. Prophecy? Oh yeah, the prophecy. Legend has it an angel who has seen the surface will descend from above and bring us freedom. Lately, the people have been talking a bleaker outlook, calling that winged circle the angel of death. A harbinger of destruction waiting to free us from this mortal realm. In my opinion, when I see that little circle, I just think it looks neat. <laughs> the king. King Fluffy Buns, he's a friendly, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. If you keep walking around long enough, you'll probably meet him. He loves to walk around and talk to people. Eh, why do I call Dreamer Fluffy Buns? Oh, that's a great story. I don't remember it. <laughs> But if you come back much later, I'm sure I'll have remembered by then. About Undyne. Undyne? Yeah, she's a local hero around here. Through grit and determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the Royal Guard. Actually, she just came through here asking about someone who looked just like you. I'd watch your back, kid, and buy some items. It might just save your hide. <laughs> Crab Apple. Heals 18. CT, speed up in battle. Cloudy glasses. Invincible longer. Ooh, ooh. And, ooh, I'm, I'm taking these. Don't be shy now. Be careful out there, kid. Info. Tor Notebook. Weapon that contains illegible scrolls. Increases invincibility by six. Items that actually work for me. You equip the glasses. You equip the torn Notebook. And now I'm smarter. Whoa. Well, looks like I have to sell some stuff. I guess I'll sell the old tutu and ballet shoes. I'm here to sell shit. Ha! I'm trying to get rid of my junk, not get more of it. Though I've heard if you want to sell stuff, the Timmy Village is your best bet. Where is it? I don't remember. Well, looks like we have to find the Timmy Village. Ominous River Place. Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrender to the humans. Seven of their greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. Um... Sparkle? Spackle? There is only one way to reverse this spell. If a huge power equivalent to seven human souls attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. But this cursed place has no entrances or exits. There is no way a human could come here. We will remain trapped down here forever. Hello, I fell down here. Special enemy Timmy appears to defeat you. Talk. You say hello to Timmy. Hoi! I'm Timmy! Oh, face up! Help! 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 Forgot her other attack. Okay, bye, Timmy. Freaky Timmy legs. Ah, you can go down different paths. I love the waterfall music. You walk in to Mold Small. I shall spare the one. Mold Small is very normal. Check. Mold Small. It's a slime mold. I shall flirt. You wiggle your hips suddenly. Help! I'm being assaulted by the devil!
Hug it! You hug mold big. Gross slime covers you. Your speed is decreased. Oh, fuck. I don't wanna die, mommy! Mold big needs some distance. Unhug. You don't hug mold big. It appreciates your respect of its boundaries. Help! Mold big! Release me! Mold big seems comfortable with your presence. Here we are, the legendary Tim Village. Oi, welcome to Tim Village. Oi, I'm Timmy, and this is my friend Timmy. Oi, I'm Timmy, and this is my friend Timmy. Oi, I'm Timmy. Don't forget my friend. Hi. I'm Bob. You feel something. You are filled with determination. What? Humans, such a cute. Tim, watch egg. Egg will catch. Tim, proud parent. It's a hard boiled. Tim heard human allergies to Tim. That okay. Tim understand. Tim also allergic to Tim. How do you even exist? Hives. Feeling of being watched. Mushroom dance. Mushroom dance. Whatever could it mean? It symbolizes my inner torment, trapped here by my high faith, my struggle to pull away, my struggle to escape, but alas, to no avail. Well, that's disturbing. Rich history of Tim. Oi, you should check it out. Tim Shop. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Should check Tim Shop. Here we are. To the Tim Shop! Woo! You got a ball shoes! I gotta have that ball shoes, but I gotta pay for calling! Mm, Tim won ball shoes! I have no need of them. Take it away, Tim Tim. What do you have to sell? Tim pay for colleg. <laughs> Discount food of Tim. I have to see. If you wanted to, you could freaking just sit here and sell. But no. Uh... Whoa! You got Tim Flakes! Welcome to the Tim Shop. <laughs> Let's talk. Say hello. Hoi! I'm Timmy. About yourself. Hoi! I'm Timmy. Timmy history. Us Tims have a deep history. About shop. Yeah, yeah. Go to Tim Shop. But I'm here. Boy. <laughs> I shall sell other items because I no longer need them. Mandana. Tough glove. Just look at that face. That smug face that says, I want to buy something. Toy knife. You could have made it T O I toy, but you didn't. Oi, welcome to the Tim Shop. Anything else that I want to sell? I guess I could sell the dog residue. Let's see what happens. Let's inspect the dog residue. What does it say? Dog residue, dog item, dirty dishes, left by unwashed dog. 
What happens if I use it? You use the dog residue. The rest of your inventory filled up with dog... Okay, now I gotta see this. Dog salad and dog residue. Let's call Papyrus. Hey, Papyrus, you know this place? There's no response. He's too scared. He's terrified. All right, dog salad. Dog salad heals. HP recovers. Hit poodles. I shall use. Use the dog residue. The rest of your inventory filled up with dog residue. How much are you gonna buy? Not that much, but... If I just keep one dog residue... I have infinite money and can buy Tim Colic. Fuck it, let's do it. Just make sure I keep one residue. Whoa! You got a dog residue! <laughs> Gotta have... Tim always went dog residue! Sure. Let's just do it! <laughs> what happens if I keep using it? Dog residue. Throw your inventory filled up with dog residue. I will... <laughs> I just realized. Does this mean that Timmy is just so dumb? That she doesn't understand that she can go to Colleg right now. She has the money. I'm just selling it back to her. But yeah, this is basically the way I was going to do it with like... Well, you could possibly do it with the... Diddly-do buying Tim Flakes. Have dog salad... Got a dog grizz. Make Tim happy by selling her things that she don't need. I'm gonna make a mistake one of these times and I'm accidentally gonna keep a dog salad and I will be punished for my hubris. Of which I will be... All greatly deserved. Okay, all dog residues. Just keep the the one gold and sell all the rest. It's gonna take a little bit, but hey, I want to send Tim to Colleg. And there's like the only other way to do it is to wait long into the game and then come back, but that takes a long time too. Make sure no dog salads. You got dog residues. I must sell for colleague. Help Tim go colleague. Even if it takes a little while, it is for the greater good! Because, I mean, I have basically... <laughs> now I'm reminded of the spiffing Brit. Undertale is a balanced game with no exploits whatsoever. Especially because this was put in the game by the developer himself, so this isn't even an exploit. Wah! <laughs> We can just sit here, infinitely, recreating our own product of dog residue. The Timmy Market will never survive. The Timmy Market will crash. But the Timmies are too happy to go into a depression. At least until... The Timmy goes to Colleg. Then Timmy will know what depression is. Also, going to Colleg for only a thousand? You got it good, kid. Make sure to sell the dog salads first so we don't accidentally keep a dog salad. Dog residus. 
200 gold away. We came in here with 600. We will send Timmy to Colleg. No, don't sell the unicycle. We need it. So we can go wheels. I also find it amusing that, apparently, Dog Residue spawns in your inventory with a specific numerical amount of money that it will be sold for. Magical. Got Dog Residue. Timmy does not understand that by paying me a million dollars, she will not go to college. But that I am a person so stupid that I will give that a million dollars back. Purely to see this weird animal go to college. Honestly, give me the extra gold. Might not be worth it. It's wasting my my precious personal best time of sending Timmy to college speedrun. That has to be a category. Yeah, college percent win. Like that has to be a thing. But what will Timmy learn at Colleg? What will they specialize in? What will their diddly dee thingy be? Their degree? Will they major in Timmy sciences? The Tim manatees? Or will they go to a liberal Tim college? Colleg. Don't worry, Timmy. You will go to Colleg. Even if I have to send you there with your own money. <laughs> With the power of whatever a Timmy is and dog from absorbing my artifact. This is what the artifact is! The artifact wasn't the artifact, it was the residue of the dog that took the artifact as payment for the artifact! Infinite money for an artifact? That sounds like a good deal. <laughs> Although, if somebody actually had the ability to just infinitely create an object over and over again and sell it for profit, somebody would be like, we have to regulate. This guy has infinite of this thing, so people will just keep buying the thing. We have to preserve the market. That would totally happen in America. We can't have somebody actually making a profit in America. Unless you already are able to just eat the souls of the innocent. And here we are. Tim can go to college. Tim pursue higher education. Woo! There's a lot of months. Can Tim really accept? Okay, Tim go to college and make you proud. Tim, how can you get to higher education without your face? By getting a hat. That, that's a 1,000 gold hat. Tim, back from Cool Egg. Tim learned many things. Learn to sell new item. You don't have muns. Makes battles too easy. Well, what do you expect when it's 99... 9,999. I will never get it. No. All I did was send a weird animal to Coleg. And now I don't have any money. 
about Timmy Armor. Tim Armor's so good! Any battle become my easy victories! But mm, Tim think if you use armors, battles wouldn't be a challenge anymore. But Tim have a solution. Tim will offer a scholarships. If you use a lot of battles, Tim will lower the price. Ah! So if you get to a tough battle and feel frustrated, can buy Tim Armor as last resort. But Tim Armor's so good, it's promised to only buy if really needs it. That makes sense. But at least we sent Timmy to Cool Egg. Nice cream, nice cream. Well, we don't need the abandoned quiche now, do we? And now, if we absolutely get destroyed, we can come back and obliterate the game. Now I have to wonder if somebody just decided... Uh... How do I... I don't want to fight you! I shall clean. No! I need greens! Spare. Although I could probably shoo him away if Washa was here, maybe. Well, time to flex! But that's funny, if you lose battles, you can just buy Timmy armor. But you have to pay a thousand gold anyway just to get the option. It's like a hidden easy mode. Which doesn't make sense. And I need to go back down and heal. Because I got obliterated by sweat. You feel something indeed. Oh, I think this way was a trap. <laughs> We went the wrong way! Mold big in Washua up here. Alright, let's clean. Dang it. Eh? Help! Help! Mold big! No! What if I just. Lie down. Understands life now. You're still trying to kill me! I'm your friend! Oh. Uh, unhug? <laughs> How did I not get hit? I am scared! That's a dirty trick. Well, we're probably gonna get into another fight, so unicycle. Whew. Let's see. Without candles or magic to guide them home, the monsters used crystals to navigate. So, hilariously, it seems that the crystals are, like, sapping away the light. I almost got hit, but, like, I did get hit, but then I didn't. Dang it. Mole, big, no! I will unhug you.
Be gone, mole pig. Ah, I can actually still see. That's funny. I probably missed a secret in there, but I don't desire darkness. Behind you. Hello, demon. Let me hide. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. That's very rude. This flower did nothing to you. Undyne! I'll help you fight! You almost got squished, kid. Yo! You did it! Undyne is right in front of you! You've got front row seats to her fight! Wait. Who's she fighting? <laughs> hey! You weren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? You <laughs> Ah, attention to detail. Um. Oh! You hear a passing conversation. Hmm, if I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me? You're a passing conversation. Of course I won't laugh. Your peasant conversation. Someday, I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world all around. That's my wish. You hear laughter. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. Your passing conversation. Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish, too. However, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface. They will return and the underground will go empty. Well, that's disturbing. I want to read them all again. Because you never know. Flowey might be about here. Nope. If it were any of them, it would be the last one. It's just like, aha, I whisper in your ear. Creepy things. Well, I gotta eat an ice cream. I'm not going to have any healing. Yo! How did you escape Undyne? Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, you're human, right? <laughs> Man, I knew it. Well, I know it. Now, I mean, Undyne told me, um, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something. But I kind of stink at that. <laughs> Yo, say something mean so I can hate you, please? No. Yo, what? So I have to do it? Here goes nothing. Yo, I, I hate your guts. Man, I, I'm such a turd. I, I'm gonna go home now. And, of course. Yo, wait, help! I tripped! I help my friend. Because I'm a good human. You, you, yo, dude. If, if, if you, you want to hurt my friend, you're going to have to get through me first. Undyne has probably never seen this before. Hey, dude, you're scared Undyne. She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. Guess being enemies was just a nice thought. <laughs> we'll just have to be friends instead. Man, I should really go home. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. 
Later, dude. Goodbye, monster kid. Do not die. Well, shit. <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, well. Time to go into a boss fight with no healing. Seven. Seven human souls and King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? Throw your seventh and final soul. This world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far. I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. I already read it on the way here. It all started long ago. No. You know what? Screw it! Why should I tell you that story when you're about to die? Yeah! I forgot that's her actual hair. You! You're not standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams. Alphys... Alphys' history books made me think humans are cool. With their giant robots and flowery swordsmen. But you! You're just a coward! Hiding behind that kid so you could run away from me again? And let's not forget your wimpy good two shoe shtick. Ooh, I'm making such a difference by hunting random strangers. You know what would be more valuable to everyone? If you were dead. That's right, human. Your continued existence is a crime. Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. Everyone's been waiting their whole lives for this moment, but we're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. Now, human, let's end this right here, right now. I'll show you now determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. <laughs> oh, hey. The wind is howling. You're filled with determination. Fight me. That's it, then. No more running away. I think I'm going to be doing lots of running away. On guard. Undyne attacks. Challenge. Our attacks are too easy. The bullets get faster. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on, you won't last a second against me. Alright. Undyne points heroically towards the sky. Plead! Undyne, you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. Not bad. Then how about this? All right, well, time to spare. For years, we've dreamed of a happy ending. Undyne towers threateningly. And now sunlight is just within our reach. I love the music. Undyne towers threateningly. I won't let you snatch it away from us. Yeah, but I don't want to die, so uh, fuck off. Undyne flashes a menacing smile. Yeah, enough warming up. That was a warm up. Uh oh. Fuck. Satan. Woo! Haha, <laughs> fool. Now I know where to go. Undyne holds her fist in front of her and shakes her head. I run away. Goodbye, Undine. You're too fast. <laughs> you won't get away from me this time. Undyne attacks. Honestly, I'm doing you a favor. Let's see. Undyne points heroically towards the sky. No human has ever made it past Asgore. <laughs> Honestly, thought an extra one would be uh, super fast thrown there. Killing you now is an act of mercy. <laughs> no, stop it! Stop! Stop! I do not want to die! So stop being so damn resilient! This is why I got... Extra! <laughs> oh boy! My freedom awaits! Goodbye, Und Undyne draws her, her finger across her neck. Uh, goodbye. I run away! I must... Oh, I know. Dang it, I can't access my menu. I wanted to call Papyrus. You've escaped from me for the last time! Alphys told me he was determined. Oh, 
I saw that at the last second. I was like, hey, wait a minute, that one's yellow. I see now what she meant by that. Things are gonna get so much harder. Untied Suplex is a huge boulder just because she can. But I'm determined to. Fish! 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 fish. Well, fish! <laughs> How did I not get hit there? Determine to end this right now! Fish! Fish! Zook! Zook! Undyne bounces impatiently. Right now! Help! 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 Oh, fuck. Help! Fuck! I'm gonna die! I'm dying! Please! Okay, I'm gonna ice cream astro food. You eat astronaut food. Your HP maxed out. Yeah, die already, you little brat! I am a child. I'm die, please! Help me! I have my brain. I'm going to run away. Don't slow me down. Help, help! Welcome to Hot Ring! Hey, what's. <clears throat> hey, what's up? I was just thinking, you, me, and Dine should all hang out sometime. I think you would make great pals. Let's meet up at our house later. Undyne, please! Stop running away! Oh, um, thank you for not, uh, goodbye. I'm a runner away! <laughs> yes, thank you, Sans! Defeat her for me! Armor... so... hot... but I can't... give up! She looks dry. Well, this convenient office, uh, cooler... Is obviously the proper way to go. Give on dying the water. <laughs> Splash. We cool now. <laughs> dying looks around, just like, why? I did it! I won! Yeah, I just noticed that there's like three different layers. Hey! I wanted to buy something! Also, why is there snow on the roof? Sans, he's so lazy, even the snow on top of his outposts just... Oh wait, there's probably a save point right after, dummy. Me, I'm just like, I'm gonna head back and save when... The save point's probably right in front. Dummy. Uh, oh, k k k k k k it was... I was thirsty, so I came over from Waterfall to get a drink. Why did you leave the water place to the fireplace to get water? Um, would you like... You take a cup of water. Are you just carrying that around to look sophisticated? Because it's not working. The water evaporated from the heat. The cup <laughs> evaporated too. Man, it sure is hot out. Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. But I think that that will do it for now. We had a boss fight, and I didn't die! Yay! Oh, but before we do, let's call Papyrus. Ah, damn it. Ring, ring. Hmm, a mysterious science house. The sign outside says lab. Lab? Like, laboratory. Labrador, eee? Does that mean there are dogs inside? I mean... I wouldn't rule it out. <laughs> That's amazing. 
But yeah, so far, super fun, wonderful music, great graphics. Timmy, we sent her to Carleg. Just absolutely, mm, utterly fantastic and wonderful and magical. And just, mm, love this game. It almost beat my ass a few times, but I don't have any healing now. Yay! Ooh, I wonder what's down here. I knew it! It's the fast travel system! Oh! <laughs> But, yeah, still, I think that will do it for now. I've been having lots of fun with Undertale. It's a wonderful, magical time. Even if, when I put it into full screen, it shoves all my windows around because Windows as an operating system is evil. <laughs> but, hey, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? But, yeah, this just makes me really excited. Apparently, a lot of people say that Deltarune is even better than this. And I've been having a fantastic time. I can't wait to get to Deltarune Chapter 1 and 2. And I can't wait to get through this, because this is a fantastic game and I need to play it more. Which means I need to stream more. It's a fan fun time. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. I've been Neon Ice Wings. If you want more from me, you can sh hit me up on YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch, where I try to do things at least somewhat often. I'm still working on that damn 40-minute Final Fantasy XV review! Because life. I've also been drawing more. Hey, my computer didn't blue screen through this. It would be hilarious if well during this outro it did that because it's a, it's a little scamp. But it's not really how the blue screens work. It's mostly when I have a million things running and then I click something and it's just like, ah! But yeah, technology. But again, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you dudes next time. Bye, bye.